Are you tired of all the hatred and violence that seems to be everywhere? Do you want to know what you can do about it? I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. Yesterday's lectionary text contained the story of the healing of the Gerasene demoniac. And as I mentioned in my sermon yesterday, this is no one's favorite story. It makes us uncomfortable for a whole lot of reasons. But there is a valuable message embedded within this familiar story. We all know that Jesus met a demoniac in a barren, deserted place filled with tombs. And the demoniac or the demons within him recognized Jesus and then Jesus cast out the demons and set the man to his right mind. That's not where the story ends. That's where a lot of focus is. The story ends with the, the healed man, the one who was made whole, wanting to stay with Jesus. And Jesus says, no, go back to your people and tell them everything that God has done for you. And this is the key message in the story as it applies to where we are today. After the shooting at Pulse, many of us wanna hunker down and protect ourselves. We wanna hide from the hatred, we wanna hide from the violence and convince ourselves that we can be safe. And that is not what we as Christians, we as the church are called to do. Jesus very clearly says, go back to your people and tell them everything God has done for you. So we who have been healed, we who know of the wholeness that can be found in Christ, have an obligation to go back to our people our neighbors, our friends, our family, our co-workers, the strangers we encounter on the streets, and let them know what God has done for us. God has claimed all of us, the queer community, allies, Muslims, everyone, as God's own beloved children. This is what God has done for us. This is what we are called to claim in the face of violence not in the protected shelters of our sanctuaries, but out on the streets. If we want to prevent further violence, there's a lot of political action we could take, but the first step we can take is to affirm that we are God's beloved and that our friends, neighbors, families are God's beloved. And God does not condone hatred or violence. Those who claim that this was done in God's name as punishment for sin are not correct. Jesus healed the one who was filled with many demons. Jesus repeatedly brought wholeness and peace and sent people back out into the world to proclaim all that God has done. Let's build community right here community of God's beloved. So share your comments and your actions below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.